Oh, hello there. I didn't hear you come in. I'm Jim. You may remember me from my work on acclaimed children's TV series Pogo and Craft, or perhaps from my work on Big Booty Butt Sluts 2. Bigger, bootier, and butt sluttier. But I'm here with you today to talk about the new craze of wiki wanking and the importance of wiki wanking in moderation. Look, we've all had those slow Monday mornings where the wife's in school and the kids are dead and you just think, I'm going to have me some me time. So you fire up the TV, you put on some midget wrestling porn and you open up Wikipedia on your phone. You're not sure whether you want to rub one out or whether you want to randomly flick, flick through Wikipedia pages until you've found out how to solve drivetrain wind up in an 8x8 military truck. But there's no reason you can't be playing with your dick or lady dick while you make up your mind. Your time is yours. And that's where the story would end for most of us, right? We spoof over a picture of an 18th century greenhouse or we get bored halfway along the way and wander off to make a sandwich and process our newfound knowledge on astrophysics. But there is a hidden danger in this activity that is lurking for all of us. Let's just say that instead of looking at a page on astrophysics, you are reading up on the migration patterns of geese. And just as you skim over a tastefully framed shot of some waterfowl, you notice, out of the corner of your eye, that the midgets have arranged themselves into a sexy pyramid, and you make a sinful mess in your jean shorts. Now, you tell yourself that you were looking at the midgets, but what if you weren't? What if you were looking at the geese? Are you a bird pervert now? It's very possible. We know from recent scientific studies that homosexuality is caused by spending too much time looking at your own ass and that bisexuality is caused by spending too much time looking at bicycles. So it's highly likely that if you look at pictures of geese while you choke the chicken, you may turn into a bird pervert. So what do you do? Well, you do what any of us would do. You find some time to be alone and you try to jack off to pictures of geese to find out if you've become a bird pervert. But while the sense of sexual satisfaction at the end of this session is unlike anything you've ever felt, it's not really geese, is it? It's pictures thereof. What if you're attracted to LCD monitors or to pixels? It's just not conclusive science. And so you spend that Saturday night at the park. Unfortunately, there are very few geese in Western Australia, so you have to settle for a duck. You strike up a conversation with one and you soon find out that she is a dirty slutty duck who is more than willing to get down on the first date. And because of knowledge you've gained from the internet, you know that birds have only one posterior orifice, the cloaca, so you are able to be a tender and sensitive lover. You spend the night beneath her wing and drive her home to the sky in the morning. But you know that deep down in your heart, fucking a duck just isn't the same thing as fucking a goose. And soon you're making excuses daily to head off into nature reserves with a bottle of lube and a pair of binoculars. Your marriage is strained, your kids never see you, and your performance at work has started to suffer. Soon you're halfway around the globe, fucking anything with feathers that you come across, searching for that single elusive species that captured your heart that day, the snow goose which only breeds north of the Timberline, in Greenland, Canada, Alaska, or at the northeastern tip of Siberia. But soon after you land in Siberia, the several strains of bird STDs you've accrued to that point form a super virus against which medical science has no defence, and three days later, all of humanity is dead. Look, I'm not saying don't have a wiki wank. I'm just saying, be careful. Take care of yourself, and I'll see you next time.